happy July 4th, 2023 from um, the uh, Wounded Warrior's Widow. Uh, and I just, um, it's been a little bit since I've um, put out a video, but freedom and the Constitution. That's it. That's what our country is about. That is one of the things that was most beautiful to me about um, my husband was his dedication to preserving what he believed, what we all believed at the time was the Constitution and fighting for freedom, for the freedom to be and do and think what we wanted in this country. We, we are still a very young country. Um, unfortunately, um, there's been an infiltration going on. Satan doesn't want anything to do with God or his people, and he does. He will do his best uh, to destroy mankind, humankind, to destroy whatever it is that God has created. Um, so, just, you know, very brief what I think is a negative thing. Um, anything that has ever come out of anyone's mouth about me treating my husband badly or um, trying to hurt him or any of those things, well, lies from Satan. Um, there is no man alive that I have ever loved. I mean, I've loved him like no other. I respected him, and I respected his military service, you know. Um, and even in the worst of times, that got me through to honor that soldier, to honor honor his heart. Um, VA let us down, but that's a whole other whole other story. This is about freedom. And for far, far too long, um, there have been a large, to me it's horrifically large, population subset of people that have never experienced freedom. And um, this is a plug to go watch The Sound of Freedom. Um, and it gives you a very small idea of what we have allowed, what our country has allowed to happen, and especially believers in Jesus. Um, we should all feel convicted that we didn't fight more, do more, be aware more, but we got lulled into some kind of a laziness. Most people did. Many people did. Um, sex traffickers. Um, human traffickers. Especially the ones of children. Do you know that there are children who were born into this? Then they were used like cattle. And then they were slaughtered like cattle. They were tortured on purpose. My, um, for... I was 18 and married a person that served a god that was the dark one, Satan. Um, and I knew about some of this stuff, but there was literally no one who I could talk to. And when I tried, all hell broke loose. I didn't know words like adrenochrome. I just knew what they did and a lot of that came from my first husband's dreams uh, he was tortured in his dreams and um, there was way too much that I heard um, my, my daughters and I um, I learned to keep them very close I homeschooled them didn't allow them to go anywhere with anybody um, there was just I would like to forget more 
than I have and, and do. Um, it was very scary, very dark, torturous 20 years. Um, uh, living, living, you know, with him and in and around um, the things that they did. Um, it is all too real way way too real it has infiltrated the highest levels of our government our law enforcement they you know things and people that we turn to to protect us aren't they're part of the problem this is from what i've heard and i can well believe it um more mm, profitable than drugs all drugs, I think, almost, because it is, it is a drug. Um, depravity has reached our three-letter agencies, the ones that we thought would protect us, our military. We have something called the military-industrial complex, and then we have the constitutionalists that, that believe in the Constitution and believe in freedom and cannot be bought. They believe in this ideal that my husband supported. And before he passed, we got to listen to a few people and talk. And I thought he would be, you know, like, oh, that they're liars and they're this and they're that. But he goes, you know, he would tell me, well, it all makes sense. He said, I thought I was serving for the right reason and I got lied to. That was one of his things, you know, because he died as a result of his service. Um, he didn't die on the battlefield, but so many of, many of our guys come home truly wounded, uh, mind, body, and and spirit, and and he was, and the chemicals and whatnot that they experimented on a lot of our guys with are what uh, gave him cancer, and. Um, what messed up his mind. Um, he had some things that we won't talk about. Um, some involved children, and that is what messed him up really badly. So um, that's my little spiel and support, just very, very brief. Um, I believe in MAGA, Make America Great Again. Um, it has been destroyed from within, and there, there are some of us who are fighting, you know, against the evil to bring back true freedom. Um, not what my generation has lived under, um, and even my mother's generation. Um, I think it probably started way back with my grandmother, great-grandmother, the evil infiltrating. Anyway, freedom, go see Sound of Freedom. Um, we don't really celebrate forth with fireworks and all that. Um, anybody married to wounded warriors? No. Um, it can be very difficult for them. And once my husband's uh, PTSD was activated, uh, the fourth was no longer fun for him. It just brought back too many memories. Um, and he was activated. His his PTSD was activated. I don't know about just about. Just before we, just before I met him, so it was about 2011, maybe 2012, something like that. Which I met him at the end of 2012, and he was already activated. But anyway, um, here's to making America great again. Watch Sound of Freedom. Do what you can do. Don't do nothing. If you don't, if you do nothing, you're part of the problem. It, even if it's just talking about it. Um, getting involved in something. Um, the time for silence is over. So, um, and if you don't think so, imagine that being one of your kids, one of your grandkids. Um, you know, somebody that you know. Anyway. God bless our country. Make America great again.